Uh, local matchmaker Stephanie Kluver from It's Just Lunch is here this morning to talk a little bit about this. She also brought a lovable dog, Sunny the dog. Hi, Sunny. <laughs> Hi. Hi, buddy. Are you going to help us find a date? I like it. Okay, so Stephanie, let's first talk a little bit about this. We've heard this, you know, people bring their dogs out to parks. They right. bring them around because they think it brings, you know, the ladies to them, especially exactly. guys. Exactly. What is it? What's it about dogs? Right, and you know, Sunny is a ladies' man. When we <laughs> are walking around the lake, women are approaching all the time. It doesn't matter if it's myself or my husband. Sure. It makes you more approachable. There's something to talk about. So if you're if you're either walking around the lakes or at a social event, you have a dog. It makes you there's something to talk about too. And opposite, the opposite sex. Do you think it just instantly kind of breaks the ice a little bit? I think so. And you have something in common. Mm -hmm. And you know there's there's an icebreaker and a social crutch. So what does it tell the other person about you? If you are a dog lover, a dog mm -hmm. owner, what are some qualities that you can kind of then take, without getting to know that person all that well? But what what does it what does that mean? Right. So a study found that women find that men, when they have dogs, mm -hmm. could be potentially a good dad someday. Okay, so they see seeing, that correlation. Right, they're seeing that um, lovable Sorry. side. And when um, and w um, women are, or men are seeing that women might be looking to get serious. Huh. So might looking for that permanence and to settle down at some point. So that could scare men away, Okay, but it is, it is a attractive trait. So if we've got Sunny, we've got the mm -hmm. dogs covered, but what right. if someone's watching and says, all right, I don't have a dog, but yes. I have a cat. I'm still lovable. Okay. Does it, does, it, does it translate into cats and other animals as well? You know, I'm going to get some heat for this, but uh -oh. sorry, cat lovers. We do find our clients, when we're asking them about pets, a lot of the women will say, this is a deal breaker. Oh. I'm not sure if I want to date someone. So a study shows one in three women will say, I do not want to meet a man with a cat. Really? Yes. What about the other way around? Does, you is, know, they don't some know? Men, men, is it's okay. Women okay. have cats. But again, they are more attracted to a woman with a dog. Okay, so if, you, if, you, if you're starting to date someone, let's say, and maybe either you or the other person, let's say you have a dog, and the guy you start dating is not a huge dog lover. Okay. What are you supposed to do? I mean, the dog's with you to stay. It's your family member. You're right. It's your family member. So yeah, that that might be a deal breaker. And mm -hmm. a lot of when we're matching people, they will say, "I have to have a you know must love dogs." Yeah. Right. Right. So that is, it, it's a deal breaker. You have to when you're looking at a relationship, you have to find someone who also loves your pet. So if you don't have a pet, what are other kind of social <laughs> tools that you can use to kind of break the ice and get the conversation going? Right. So we recommend, um, you know, if you're a runner, go to a running club. Okay. If you're a cook, take some cooking classes. Go to the place where you have hobbies and passions and find an event to go to. You know, if you do have a dog, hit the lakes. Sure. You know, there's some great cafes. Marche is one of my favorites on Lynn Lake to have a cup of coffee after you meet someone at the dog park or you know walk around the lake with someone with your with your dog. So it's a great place to meet people and go on a first date. So put yourself out there. Okay. Really yes. get out, get get involved, get where you're going to meet people. Right. If you're not getting outside, you're not going to meet a lot of people. Exactly. Get social and get out of your norm of what you're doing. Get away from the computer and get out into the real life and start meeting people. Is that your big tip coming up on Valentine's Day? I know it can be tough if you're single and you don't have a ton of prospects, this time of year is a little bit tough. Right. What would be your like one piece of advice for people who are kind of sick of hearing Valentine's Day and they don't have a date? Yeah, it is tough. I would say, first of all, hire a matchmaker. Okay. You know, as yep. Nine years in the business, I would say it's the best way to meet someone. Mm -hmm. um, it's just lunch. We can help you there. Otherwise, get out of your the norm. Go to a different place to have lunch. Go to a different place, a different gym, a different mm -hmm. location. Um, go to a different coffee shop in the morning to get your cup of coffee. If you are doing the same thing over and over, you're going to meet the same people. Stephanie, thank you You're so welcome. much. Sunny, Thanks for having me. Good job, buddy. Good job. Continue being a ladies' man. <laughs> Guys, we'll send it back to you on the couch.